Hey everybody, welcome back to another 2020 Toyota Tacoma video. And this week I'm going to do the same thing that everybody else always does. And that's replace this TRD off-road grill with the TRD Pro Style Grill. Or as some people call it, the Heritage Grill. This happens to be a grill that I have actually always liked. Uh, the new one, that is. And there's really nothing wrong with the, the new redesigned 2020 version as you can see it's a lot uh, a lot more aggressive than it used to be but I guess for you know my taste I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with the matte black one which does include the TSS cover for lower uh, Toyota safety sense sensor is located behind this big giant uh, smooth emblem right there and for those of you that don't know, that is what controls the um, radar cruise control and uh, stuff like that. So, like I said, there's a lot of other videos online showing you how to do this. I won't be terribly detailed in this. This is more of kind of a vlog style. But anyway, I'm gonna pop the hood, see what I need to remove on top. I think there might be some clips down below then have to unplug the center that's back there, and then we'll install the new one. So stay tuned. All right, moving on. Looks like there's two 10 mil fasteners here, one there and one there. Got two pop clips. Just gently pry that up, comes right out. One there and one there. Then it looks like I need to, um, this is the wiring for the TSS sensor. Squeeze that so it detaches from the shell. Unplug that. And then I'm not sure about the, the fasteners down below. Uh, I think that might be held in with friction, but we'll get to that in just a second. All right, moving on. I find there are four pop clips actually located down here between the grill shell and it feels like maybe the top of the core support or part of the core support anyway. Uh, there's one here, one here, and one there and one there. And you won't really be able to see them now because I've removed them, but they're the same identical ones that were on top right there. Just gently put a screwdriver in and uh, pop it up and then pull it out. So now this grill should be loose with the exception of this, which I will uh, unplug in just a second here. So let me go ahead and lift this off. All right, now that I've got that removed, let me show you what it looks like here. There's the shell with the grill installed and the big opening. So let's go ahead and move this operation into the garage on top of the workbench. We'll flip this over and disassemble what we need to and install it. All right, so the first thing I'll do is remove the TSS sensor right here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, maybe four connectors, and this will be free. And then got some clips holding the old grill in, and I think some Phillips head fasteners. So I'll work on this and get this off. Okay, just real quick, getting this clip out of here was a little difficult. And I have a pry tool, but that really didn't seem to work. The easiest thing I found was just a flat blade screwdriver and kind of put it under the side here, gently pry, and it kind of releases, I guess, these clips it has on the side. So that's out need to remove and save these silver parts right here. Those get transferred to the new grill. And then we're on to actually removing the old grill from the shell. Well, all right, the old grill is out. There it is. And I think this might be different for the 2020, but I found there's there's two separate rows of these clips. And I guess it would be the outside row, you don't have to take off. 
that appears to hold this frame to the actual shell. And this is the painted part you see on the outside. All of the ones on the inside, and there weren't that many of them, and they were actually pretty easy to remove, those had to come out. So let's go ahead and assemble the new grill and get this thing going. Okay, here's the replacement grill. I haven't, I don't remember if I showed this or not, but you have to install the, the Toyota letters in there, um, I guess for copyright reasons. And generally, you're allowed to pick whatever color you want. I went with silver, uh, which is the factory color because my truck is gray, but you could do red or, you know, there's any number of colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. I guess that's the first thing I need to do is get those secured. I have all the letters secured to the back. They uh, really go in one way and they're secured with uh, the screws. And when I, I thought I was shorted two screws, but it looks like the Y on this, though those aren't actually screw holes. Those are just where uh, the, the colored part of the Y attaches to the frame part of the Y. So everything is all nice and secured. So now I need to pop this part out, which it looks like I need to release a couple clips here. Pop this out, mount the, uh, the TSS sensor. And well, I guess first I have to, to mount the, uh, the garnish on the outside, which I got. Just in case you're wondering, this garnish right here mounts a little bit lower than the old factory style. Uh, it was the emblem that took the place of this. This is where the sensor goes. And supposedly, there are no problems with this kind of setup, but I guess we'll see. Okay, since I have TSS, I had to remove this blank plate, and I found there are just these two clips here, one there and one there, and then this was just very slightly kind of melted into the holes right there, um, just in case you don't have Toyota Safety Sense, and you can leave this in place, I guess that's why they do that. So very easy to come out. And now we'll go ahead and mount the new one from the underside. Looks like it'll clip in place. And then I can mount the sensor and get this thing mounted. With the TSS sensor mounted, the two factory fasteners that you have to replace those, uh, those silver nut certs. I'm not even sure what they're called. And then this one, this is now ready to install into the shell. All right, just one more thing before I go ahead and mount this back on the truck. With this Pro Style grill, it doesn't use most of these shell screws you removed. From what I can tell, it uses one, two, and that's pretty much it. And actually, I may have taken those out and may not have needed to take those out before. But there's nothing up on top here, there's nothing to attach those to. It just solely relies on these clips. Seems like it's in there pretty sturdy, and I've never really heard of a problem. So once you got everything clipped back in, back in place for the TSS sensor, this is ready to mount. All right, got the, the grill and the shell mounted back to the truck. Once again, the two 10 mils there and there, the two pop clips here and one over there. And I just wanted to mention, these four pop clips that I removed, down there from the lower part of the grill. I think maybe for 2020, they must have changed that because although you can still rem remove them, it doesn't look like they're actually attached uh, to anything other than maybe like a grill support or something, but they basically do nothing. But uh, anyway, I'll do a final shot once I get these popped back in place. All finished. Oh, don't forget to plug in your TSS sensor, by the way, that's back there. So I'm really happy with the way this looks. Do a close up here. So you can see this, uh, this garnish panel is uh, reflective and it's not glass. I would say it's a very hard plastic, but this is pretty much the new norm for all vehicles. Either it's gonna have, you know, a giant emblem that's gonna be clear and glossy or something like that. So, you know, kind of a strange thing to have a 
shiny surface in the middle of plastic, but that's just the way, you know, cars with these technologies, uh, that's how they are. So for the price of this grill, which I thought was very, very reasonable, and I'll put a link down below for the part, and you can buy it as a kit, the grill with the garnish, and then it allows you to also choose the color of your, your Toyota. And uh, again, I chose silver. Um, I was thinking about choosing red, but nah, went with silver. The nice part is you can also, uh, you can always rebuy that in pretty much any color you want. So just waiting for my permanent plates to come in the mail, um, hopefully any day now, which will then allow me to go ahead and transfer on my personalized plates to this truck, black plates that I already have. So another successful mod, many more to come. I think I'm gonna wash the truck real quick before it gets dark, because it rained last week and it's a little dirty. So as the airplane goes over top, I'm gonna to say that's it for this video. All right, it's a helicopter. Anyway, as always, catch you on the flip side. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see we could be true. We can be true I want you to see what I see in us Something so real